is Matt from snoozecentral.org and snoozetv.com. All right, so this is going to be like take five. Um, man, this light is sort of blowing out my face right now, but that's all right. I'll try and get it adjusted. I have uh, people behind the camera working frantically. Anyway, um, here we go. So G3 TNT from Swedish Match. Super strong variety. Oh, man. I got to tell you guys, this stuff is pretty darn good. Um, and to answer you guys' questions, <laughs> beforehand here, I was chatting with you guys um, before I started this. No, it didn't explode, so we're good. But I do want to talk about this snooze because I really like it. Keep the comments rolling. Um, I want to make sure everybody is uh, on here and ready to go, ready to talk TNT. So, this snooze tastes pretty darn familiar. If you guys have ever had uh, the Lab 06, it's going to taste really similar to this stuff. So, um, hopefully the connection is okay. Hopefully the audio is coming in good. It should be okay. So just uh, bear with me. It might get better as the stream goes on. So anyway, G3 TNT. Tastes like the Lab 06, and that really surprised me. Um, man, I was expecting a mint type of flavor with this snooze, and I really got awestruck when I popped the first portion in. This tastes like the Lab 06. I've been saying that for, you know, five times now, but it really does. Really good base tobacco flavor that is purely general snooze. And then you get um, some cedar tones, a little bit of pepper in there, just great variety of flavors. And uh, yeah, so very, very good flavor profile. So if you like the Lab 06, again, you're gonna like this stuff. Flavor longevity is gonna last you a good hour to an hour and a half in the upper lip. Um, really no form of irritation. This is a white dry portion, so it's going to give you a little bit more of that dry feeling in the upper lip. You're going to have to drink some more water or your choice flavor of beverages with it, but it's very, very good. Um, the white dry portion does lend itself awesome as far as flavor longevity goes. So again, a good hour to an hour and a half in the upper lip. Um, yeah, it's just really... I mean, that's it as far as the flavor profile goes. It's its own unique beast of a flavor, but it really does remind me of the Lab 06. Nicotine strength. Since this is a super strong nicotine content, um, or at least Swedish Match states it on the can, sitting at right around 1.8%, it feels more like the upper twos. So as you guys know, Swedish Match knows how to do their free nicotine quite well and this really doesn't hold anything back. So if you like a full strength nicotine option, this is it. As the name states, TNT, this will at times blow your head off if you're not careful. Um, me personally, I'm not a huge fan of super high strong nicotine content snooses, um, but this really does lend its hand to a great nicotine experience. Um, I, I like it quite a bit. I can't keep it in for no longer than about an hour and a half, and then I really struggle to keep it in for that long because it is such a strong nicotine strength. But I like it. So uh, let's look at the can before I open this up. Um, it has a really nice matte gray label on it with a nice shiny gold leaf font. Uh, big bold TNT here, G3 really, G3 really nicely uh, offset there. The Super Strong is uh, nicely done in the red, and it's actually raised and textured. So uh, it gets a little bit of tactile feedback. As you guys know, I'm a sucker for that. And um, the Catch Lid has the standard Swedish match um, uh, two indentation for the Catch Lid here. Nice, easy to pop it open and uh, throw your used portions in there. Standard big catch lid as well, so you're gonna have a lot of room to throw in some used portions. So, really good stuff. Around the seal, um, same matte gray label with a gold leaf font, the super strong, and um, yeah, that's slim white dry des designation. Dumb warning label, 
Um, I wish, you know, they would take these off, but our countries and uh, it's needed on some of those. I don't like it, but uh, they take away from the aesthetics that much. If you want something, you know, really strong, say, uh, after dinner, after lunch, that's a good one that'll uh, pair nicely after a meal. Okay, let's uh, take a look at these portions. So these are a, uh, and as I spill them, <laughs> these are a uh, slim variety. Let's see here. There you go. Slim portion. Uh, as the Swedish match slim portions go, they are very comfortable in the upper lip, aside from them being a super dry portion. Um, they're very nice. They fit very comfortably. If you fluff them up a little bit, um, you could tell that there's plenty of tobacco in there, so it definitely, definitely fills your upper lip quite well. And it's nice. So you get 24 portions per can on this guy. Great tobacco smell out of the can. Uh, again, so really nice. So 24 portions per can. And uh, yeah, I, I really like it. There, there, It is a great looking slim portion, as Ben stated. Um, really nice. So, yeah, I, I thoroughly enjoy this this snooze. Again, it's not a mint flavor. You don't have to worry about that. Um, it's a pure, no-holds-bar tobacco taste. Really like it. I don't know how many times I can say that in this review. I really like it. All right, I'm going to look at the comments here, see if I missed anything. Um, looks like... John York, how you doing, buddy? Uh, says I don't use much. I don't use too much. Really strong snus, mainly regular. I'm the same way. I don't like a lot of super strong offerings. I'll have them once in a while, either to review or just to pop in after a meal uh, to test out the water, see if my tolerance has grown. Still hasn't really, but uh, yeah, um, really great after dinner, after lunch snus. But yeah, I, I mainly stick to, uh, you know, 1.5, 1.6, right around there. That's my comfortable level. This, even though it states it's at a 1.8%, um, like I said, it feels like it's in the high twos. So, all right. Slim portions are very nice. Again, these fit very comfortably in the upper lip. Um, read some more comments here. All right, oh, and Ben, since you're on here, um, I did do that Cronin and ice cream video that you were really adamant about. So if you haven't checked it out yet, please do yourself a favor and take a look at that Cronin paired with ice cream. That was a rough video to make. And uh, I got through it, I'm still alive, and I'm going on to TNT. But man, that was very, very tough to get through. So, let's take a look. See what the other comments I got going here. I'm glad you guys are all uh, joining me tonight. I, I really appreciate it. Again, this is not the original backdrop um, like my studio had. It's not really an impromptu live review either. I've been sort of thinking about doing this for a while, doing it live or doing it pre-recorded. Um, I figured I'd do it live because a lot of people were really waiting for this offering. And uh, so far it's paying off. So thank you, everybody. Um... Speaking about my live setup, uh, I'm actually in the tr transition of moving. So, it's, yeah, it, my main studio setup is not, uh, really, it's tore down. So, doing it, uh, doing a live review, really anywhere I can, I can. So, all right. Uh, just looking at the comments again for you, those of you who are watching this pre-recorded. Uh, I do like to take a look through the comments, read them off here, and, uh, you know, share some feedback with you guys. Let's see. What are you guys snoozing on tonight? I always like to know that. Um, for those of you who are watching this pre-recorded, you can look at all the live comments and watch me interact with people. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys are snoozing right now. Snoozing TNT. Um... John York said, haven't tried 06 yet, Lab 06. 
but I have a can coming up. Awesome. Uh, John, let us know either in this, you know, uh, format here on this video how you like the Lab 06. Again, because it's very close to this TNT G3. Um, also, uh, let us know in this new Central Facebook group. If you guys haven't joined that yet, you guys are missing out. There's some awesome conversation going on over there about quality Swedish news and some really cool people. I mean, we have a lot of people joining every single day. And uh, yeah, so check that out. Also, don't forget to check out um, our Insta Instagram page. I do a lot of photos for that. And uh, yeah, we have some awesome, awesome photos. I have a photo of this guy coming up soon. I don't have any TNT to set it by, but uh, I'm trying to make something look cool. So John York is snoozing catch eucalyptus, and that's a pretty darn good snooze. I use that uh, sometimes when I'm sick. If I have a sore throat or congestion, uh, catch eucalyptus is amazing. Um, is, is an amazing snooze to use if you have a cold, sore throat, that kind of stuff. Really good. It doesn't irritate you that much. Another Swedish Match product, by the way. Um, there's some awesome offerings uh, that I have uh, coming up. Um, there's a new product from G4. So don't forget to uh, subscribe to stay tuned to that video. Clay Hunter asked me, how is the weather in Michigan? Uh, John knows this. Um, he's a local Michigan guy too. We got hit pretty hard with uh, some winter weather. Um, it dropped down to like negative 10 degrees with uh, 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 the past couple days dropped down 10 degrees uh, below with a wind chill of like 40 below. Uh, that was horrible. It iced up the roads, um, had trouble getting into work and uh, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, on top of that, we got, I think it was somewhere in the ballpark of like eight inches of snow. So everybody was battling that. And then today it was actually 40 degrees outside, no snow, and everything was starting to melt. So that's Michigan winters for you. It really, it's like a roller coaster. And uh, it sucked, but I had good snooze to keep me warm. Um, you know, I was reading up on the comments on the the uh, SNU Central Facebook group and uh, all the other groups that are out there, um, you know, SNUsology, um, all those kind of things. So I was, you know, staying in the loop and uh, enjoying good snooze. So yeah, that's the weather. <laughs> all right. Yeah, it's funny. John's like, it's warm today. And for most of the country, you guys don't live in the northern, you know, half of the, the states. It's, it's like... 40 degrees is warm? Yeah, it's pretty warm. Um, there's actually a couple people wearing shorts today. That's a different story. Um, yeah. Ben got some Lundgrens in. Nice. What uh, what Lundgrens are you using tonight, Ben? Let us know. Because everybody that watches these videos pre-recorded, I don't know if you know this, but they really take your guys' suggestions into consideration as well. So they don't always look to me, they always look to you guys. And, uh, you know, sometimes I can be biased on snooses, but I try to be very uh, open-minded and unbiased, but I do. So uh, try and make it unbiased as, as I can. But uh, as you guys know, I love Scroof. Love Scroof. All right. So... Man, uh, any other comments, anything like that before I wrap this up? I don't want to keep it too long, but uh, if you guys keep throwing comments out and suggestions or um, anything like that, I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep talking. All right. Uh, what, what do you think, um, have you guys tried this TNT G3 yet, anybody? Anybody joining live? Anybody tried this yet? Um, oh, Ben said he's been missing the notifications on this channel. I've seen a drop in viewership, and I think it's because of two things. One, Google and uh, YouTube in general are pretty much anti-tobacco of any sort, especially if it's snooze. 
or a harm reduction. As you guys know, Swedish snus is super, you know, um, <laughs> way better for you than smoking, um, than American dip. Um, and it's a great alternative for those who are trying to look to quit smoking but still want to enjoy nicotine in a safe way. As you guys know, Swedish snus of any sort does not cause cancer, gum disease, tooth loss, anything like that. Even though it has tobacco in them, the majority of the products out there have tobacco in them, um, it's not all evil. Uh, it's, it's fine. I mean, I don't condone taking up snus or any smokeless tobacco product for those of you who are not snus users or underage. I don't suggest anybody to use any of these products. Um, I just make these videos to inform people that use these products that there's other offerings and options out there other than general, other than um, maybe other brands you've been using for years. So that's why I make these videos, to inform other people about different options out there other than smoking and other than anything else. So, um, yeah, anyway. So it's because of that, because of the um, anti-tobacco thing on Google and most of social media platforms. And it's also, um, if you're missing the videos, it's because you haven't hit that bell button and turned on the notifications. Um, and if you set it, if you hit the bell button and, and um, hit, um, notify always or something like that, you will get the constant stream of videos anytime I upload them. So if you're missing out on videos, do that and uh, you'll see some more content from the channel. So John asked me if I have Thunder Extreme by me and I unfortunately do not. I checked the store locator this evening because I wanted to pick some up to do a proper review um, nothing. I did receive the small batches of the test samples when Swedish Match was handing them out to reviewers to really get their take on them. And, uh, I didn't review them because they didn't have the proper can graphics and they weren't totally finalized. So I didn't review them. And I'm sort of wishing I would have just to have a review on them. But yeah, they're not even by me at all. They're not popped up yet. I know most of the country already, as far as I know, about most of the country has uh, the Extreme products from Swedish Match, the Thunderline. I don't have them yet, and I'm really bumming about that because I want to try them again. Um, Chad did a review on them, and I heard they're very, very awesome. So from what I had from the test ones, they're great. So if you can get your hands on them, try them. All right. Ben says, been switching between Lundgren's Scane and Wow Sunny Honey. I'm glad you're still using that Wow Sunny Honey. I think I mentioned that to you as a good starter snooze or a good change up in rotation. Um, so yeah, I really love that snooze. I'm gonna get some more of that. Probably do a re-review re on that snooze. I really enjoy that, especially first thing in the morning. It's a little bit sweeter and it has a really great taste to it. So I'm glad Ben's enjoying that still. Um, hmm. Yeah, anything else, guys? Anything else? Probably hearing the train in the background. Um, yeah, any, anything else before I head out here? Again, TNT, uh, G3 TNT by Swedish Match is a great offering. Try it. Really, try this stuff. 24 portions per can. Great. All right, Martin. What's up? What's up, Martin? How's it going? Hope you're enjoying some good snooze. If you tried this yet, let me know. Has Martin tried G3 TNT? What are your thoughts on it? All right. I love these live videos. I love talking to you guys. It's awesome. It's awesome. I love talking quality Swedish snooze and just catching up with everybody, um, it's fun. Other than uh, G3 TNT, I do have a can of the uh, General White, the redone can design for the States. 
I'm covering up this warning label because it's not true. Um, yeah, really good stuff. Classic, classic Snooze General White. Like I said, uh, TNT has that base general flavor of tobacco, but it's, um, it's more like the Labo 6 because it has a, a cedar tones in it. All right. Last comments, questions, concerns, anything you'd like to see from the channel, any snooze reviews? Uh, what kind of snooze reviews would you guys like me to see? Would you like to see some on reviews? Um, what about the new Lyft products? Would you guys like to see those? Any of those? And are you guys interested in more LD offerings? I did a review on the LD Salmiac. Um, I had a couple cans of their other offerings. Um, they were pretty good. I just didn't know if the channel would like to see those or not. Let me know. If you do, I'll have to get those again. Um, because I liked them, I just didn't know if the channel would like to see it. Uh, the, the licorice ones, uh, the licorice LD was really good. I did that by a fireplace. Um, almost got burned alive. But, uh, yeah, I just... Let me know if you guys would like to see any, any products. What are your suggestions? What would you guys like to see me review or re-review? I got an order coming up, so throw some throw some uh, suggestions out there for what you'd like to see on my next order, and I will review them or re-review them. Let me know. Comment right now. What would you guys like to see on my next order? All right, Martin says, I invite you to come to Sweden to snooze and drink some coffee. You're welcome to my place. Thank you, Martin. I will take you up on that. Um, keep in contact. I want to try and plan a trip to Sweden. Um, that'd be awesome. I'd like to have some uh, some good quality snooze with you, some fika. Um, that'd be great. Would be amazing. And uh, SnoozeCon 2019, for those of you who are watching, um, it's in the works. It's coming up. We don't have a date yet. We're still trying to figure out some stuff, but I'm going to be there. And if you guys are coming, um, I'd like to see you there. If you guys can make it from any part of the U S or Sweden or internationally, if you can make it to SnoozeCon, that would be awesome. I'd love to meet every single one of you guys that support the channel. I'm going to have some shirts. Um, and if you guys want to buy some shirts to support the channel, That'd be great as well. Um, so yeah, wear your shirts to SnoozeCon, support Snooze Central, Snooze TV. Working on some new designs. I have a, down below, uh, I'm gonna post some links to a, a shirt that I made. It says, Butt First Snooze. It's got the Swedish colors on it, so the yellow and the blue. Um, if you wanna support the channel that way, please be sure to buy one of those shirts awesome so I really like it I'm gonna get one soon and uh, show it off so all right um I think that's gonna be it I'm trying to stretch this out because I want to make sure I don't you know lose any comments here all right yeah so check the new central Facebook page and look at the um, uh, the group join the group if you haven't done so we welcome everybody 